again. Hey folks, we're back. Uh, well, this is kind of an interesting combination. We're doing the Chicago Pipe and Tobacco Show in, um, well, Chicago, but right now we're in St. Charles, Illinois. It mm -hmm. doesn't run in hotel. And uh, we're going to be showing uh, our viewers around the hotel while I'm also attempting to breed a Garnet Legendary Dragon, mm -hmm. flower also known as Snow Monkey. Now I have about 136,000 eggs mm -hmm. and I have 315 fragments. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be actually using both to get him mm -hmm. and because the Garnet Legendaries require 700 fragments, 315 mm -hmm. fragments is roughly 3 sevenths, so it's a little bit over uh, 50, excuse me, 42% of the eggs. So if you're going to take 42, 43%, mm -hmm. actually it winds up being 43%, if it's 315 fragments of his uh, total and he requires 145,000, he should basically require, in terms of eggs, 80 to 85,000 eggs, if you're also going to include the 315 fragments. So yeah, it's kind of a convoluted situation, basically. I'm going to have to watch my egg count go down from 136 to about 56, mm -hmm. as we're going to be walking over the hotel and I'm keeping an eye on the eggs, because I'm going to use the next 56,000 eggs for the other dragon. Mm -hmm. For the next garnet, I'm going to have to lift another lid. And then the fragments I'm going to have to utilize manually. Mm -hmm. uh, also, for the record, I wanted to say was, there are many rumors, but... Uh, once you get past platinum, you will still have to in sapphire and in garnet to uh, breed two dragons of each tier to get the lid lifted. Mm -hmm. In my particular case, the situation now is going to allow me to get my uh, leg uh, my uh, divine dragons up to level 40. Mm -hmm. And once I breed my second garnet dragon, it will allow me to get them to 45. As is, if you have no garnet dragons... Your, your cap will be 35. Mm -hmm. If you have one sapphire, I believe it will be 30. So basically to get through each tier, you have to get two dragons of that tier. It's a misconception yes. that you only have to get one dragon after platinum. So basically here we go with the process. We're going to be starting it. I can turn on the volume. I just wanted the viewers to hear that mm -hmm. particular segment. Mm -hmm. We're going into the events. Mm -hmm. My base got hit about 10 times during the last few days. We were busy making videos of various carvers and dealers and rack makers and whatnot. But you go to breeding. And the next dragon that I can breed is Zaru. So here we're going to the cross breeding. And the parents for Zaru are Nihaten and Anapa. So you start basically breed by the way this is what he requires 700 fragments which is the sapphires legendary who requires 500 and for the mythic that requires i think a thousand here i the legendary garnets requires 700 and i think the mythic will require 1200 i believe i could be wrong mm -hmm. it's a lot yes it is a lot so we start the auto breeding and yes this is how it starts oh look this is oh. what a garnet egg looks like it looks like a red egg yes Basically, it's starting to come out. Notice right now I'm at 135,000 and I have five fragments out of 700. Well, basically now 800. All right. Yeah, doesn't seem to be a terrible breeding. I'm going to have a shitload of sapphire eggs afterwards <laughs> for a legendary and um, a mythic. So I'm going to have extra Mihatan eggs and extra Napa eggs, which I need. Like, I need a second hole in my ass, but hey. Maybe it'll come in handy for upgrading the Builder HUD because, like I said, right now, the sapphire mm. eggs are what I require. But I have a feeling I'll have more than necessary. Okay. Folks, well, we're still doing the breeding. We had to take a bit of a break. Right now, we're in front of a pond here. Oh, gosh. We walked by before. As we said, this is a very, very nice hotel. And uh, right now... The breeding is at 57.7 thousand eggs, it would have been 58 thousand eggs. I had originally done the math and I was... I mistook, I thought it was going to take... Well, I didn't make a mistake, it flipped in my mind. I said I was going to have 58 thousand eggs left over originally, but in the video I said it was going to take 58 thousand eggs. No, I started out with 138 thousand. Mm -hmm. and um, it took 80,000 and I have 58,000 left over which is the way I'd originally crunched the numbers but right now I'm going to no longer auto breed I'm going to um, go to the uh, 
Incubator. Incubator, and I actually started the program over again, which was brilliant. <laughs> but I'm going to throw in the fragments, and basically in a few minutes, I'm pressing the button 315 huh? times, so it's going to be a little less, going to be 313 times, okay. symbolic number. Uh -huh. I'm going to get Zaru, the snow monkey, and that's going to be my first uh, Garnet Dragon. The program is loading up. Hopefully it should do well. We're here on Wi-Fi, right? So spots, hot spots, Wi-Fi? Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi, okay. I connected you earlier. We also wanted to do another video, Dragons on the Go, because I was thinking this is kind of a side mention or maybe an informal introduction to that video that's... We're going to mention this point again is if you even if you are on the go and it's basically traveling between states and in different hotels you can still do the dragon breedings mm -hmm. or yes. the missions or you know participate in the game we i've seen both in both of our clans that people will be like oh i'm going out of town and i won't be playing and i'm like but why won't you be playing it's always my thought and if you notice our videos we are in hotels all the time playing. Yes, I mean, yes, occasionally we did the videos at home with Velvet as mm, our curator. curator. Yes. <laughs> ta -ta 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 -ta. Yes. I kind of miss him. I very much miss him. I we hope have he's Darryl doing okay. We're watching him from Samantha's office and we're going to talk to Velvet, seeing how Daryl was acting. And yes. Then, and then should we talk to Daryl and ask him how Velvet was acting, divide and conquer or no? No, no. We know Velvet was a joy, a peach the best cat ever yes yes of course he would no, he would do nothing wrong of course he'd never do that he wouldn't bite daryl or anything no 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 unless daryl was really asking for it yes so now we have 313 fragments available i don't know mm -hmm. if this is going to appear on the thing there's a lot of sun in the background yeah it's not going to appear we'll have to take our word for it but i'm going to have to press this button over 300 times well, take, start filming that so I can loop it in. Start filming the pressing of the button? Yes. Okay, you want to film the pressing of the button? No, like, where's okay. your where's your orange thing? Oh, okay. Oh, actually, I should step out of this, right? And you can speed that up. Hold on a second. No, you need to be in there when you start filming. Yes, 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 hold on. I'm going to need to step out of this. Hold on. One second, we're still not professionals. This is the orange thing, okay, record. But no, hon. Yes? You needed to be in there to be recording because I think as soon as you go in there, you're going to get the message that you've left the thing. No, it okay. still seems to be going. Okay. It doesn't seem that I have any kind of, like, any kind of a message. No. No? Not so far. Come, it'll be a gray little thing across the bottom. No, no, I didn't see that. Okay. Add fragments, add fragments. Mm -mm -mm. Gosh. So, to get Zaru, the snow monkey, we had to get, what, a Napa? And Miatan. And Miatan. And to get a Napa, you bred together who? Oh, I'd have to check my notes. I don't want to give people the wrong answer on that. Seriously, uh, I mean, I'd written it down. I haven't been playing this game for a little bit of time. But an apple was basically one of the first dragons you bred in Sapphire out of um, Platinum. Yes. And then I am breeding um, Garganus and Champa to get me a tan. Oh, I know. For an apple, you needed uh, Vulcan and... Um, Vulcan and Vulcan was the lava dragon and the other one was Calvin? Calvin, yes. So Vulcan and Calvin were the two uh, dragons that you got instantly when going into platinum. Yeah. And out of platinum you would have actually bred Sekum uh -huh. and an Appa, which would have given you the path of uh, Apophet. And the Apophet is a perfectly good dragon, but mm -hmm. we decided to go the path of uh, Mihatan. And to beat a dead horse some more, one of the things that I was stressing was that your regular dragons really are always going to be behind your uh, divines, yes. especially the seasonal divines. And that, to me, it was a way to lift the cap. But mm -hmm. I happen to like Mihatan. Yeah? 
And if you are one of the people who's going along a slower path and you get your dragons, you know, because I was talking to players who were in their 130s and they were mm -hmm. surprised some time ago when I was in my 170 levels that I hadn't had a sapphire dragon yet. I'm now almost level 220 and I'm getting my garnet. But, you know, that was over a period of about five weeks, six mm -hmm. weeks or something like that. Yeah, I'd say five or six weeks. That, you know, you can always look at your regular dragons. If you can call, you know, mythic sapphires or garnet legendaries or let alone mythics, you know, regular dragons. I mean, yes, technically they're non-divine. But, yeah. I mean, shit, with dragons costing five to seven hundred fragments for the legendaries and a thousand to twelve hundred for the mythics. I mean, that's hardly, that's hardly a regular dragon. Yes. You know, and the cost of the eggs. Mm -hmm. that they will always be trailing. The thing about an app is she can be bag bred for 12,500 mm -hmm. eggs and the profit uh, can be gotten with the double dragon for just an extra, you know, I think, like, yeah, an extra... Well, actually, he's gotten in the process of getting a Coilus and yeah. the other dragon. But you were supposed to be able to bag breed other sapphires, but I'm not able to bag breed other sapphires yet once, once, this is a very key point, once I have two garnets, then I can start back breeding sapphires for a lot less. Mm -hmm. The game makes sure to uh, rate you, rape you, ah, no, rate you, uh, yes, for, uh, you know, an arbitrary number of eggs. So once mm -hmm. you have two garnets, I believe you will be able to back breed additional uh, sapphires for 25,000. I'm almost there. Cool. So, yes, I'm at 613, mm -hmm. 614, 15. I'm almost there, and we will have the hatching of Saru the Snow Monkey in just about a minute, if not Gosh. less. Do your knees hurt standing on the asphalt? No. Okay. I don't know how I'm appearing on the camera. Ooh, looks I'm pretty good. 640, 640, 650, 656 out of 700, 660. Yes, folks, this is a tedious process. Yes, and right now we're in third place in the breeding we're in competition. Third place? Yeah. I thought we were in second. Okay. No, but not anymore. Not anymore. Um, but I think with you breeding Zaru out and me breeding Champa out, that might um, take us up into second or even first place because the numbers that's are so it. close. Go to incubator. I don't know how that's going no, to appear on the video. Yes. Okay. Go to incubator. Mm -hmm. And this is going to be for incubate eggs. Yes, you're filming Hatching. it still. Yes, I'm filming it. So, no, maybe you can try to do this on the phone. Legendary. Okay. Oh, wait a second. There's a... Building can't incubate... you upgrading to level nine to incubate the egg how about that ah, so you have to have a level nine incubator to hatch uh garnet yes. eggs and what's your your incubator i have to upgrade it and mine is level eight yes so once not so bad nope and it's going to take 18 days to speed up the incubator mm -hmm. wonderful so i'm going to speed that up mm -hmm. Have you gotten the message that it's stopped recording yet? I think it may have stopped recording it. I don't know. I can't access the orange balloon right now. Then you are still recording. Okay, good. You can tell the excess and abundance of professionalism. <laughs> Incubate eggs. Incubate. Let's take mm -hmm. a look at the hatching. can't see anything, hon. Okay. 31 days, guys. Uh, hatch, no, take a look at this. 31 days. Yeah. 31 days. He has to uh, incubate. He has to incubate a garnet legendary dragon. I'm going to apply multiple, the bastards. And yes, I'm going to have it. Here, you might be able to see this. No. Well, it might come off when, you know. No. But I have you recording it, so it should be fine. Wi-Fi is disconnected. So yeah, so now we have Zaru the Winter Monkey. His spells are Crystalline Shield, Steel Essence, mm. Desiccating Sands, and he has an excellent fire to resist. I heard that he's a fantastic hunter. I've seen him in action, and cool. basically the advice was to sand everything. No. I don't mean make it smooth. I mean just 
infiltrated in sand. Okay. So guys, basically, let's see. Right now, I have to vacate. Well, actually, I don't have to vacate any spots in my roster. Mm -hmm. And I have the snow monkey, and his starting firepower is 2.5 million. Nice. Yes. And so, we'll probably do a video on his runes here soon. Yes, and to get him up to the first from the second first to second level will take 1.29 million experience points yep yeah so and he's breedable at level 12 as opposed to 16, 16. which is for the mythics yes yeah guys take care i hope this video was well fun yes fun informative got to see an interesting yeah informative got to see an interesting hotel mm -hmm. here in chicago illinois and basically got a informal introduction to zaro the snow monkey yes take care